Yeah, hello and I welcome you all for this Cloud Practitioner Lab videos. So we are in module 7 that is Stories. So that is lab 4 that is working with uh, EBS. So this lab is again uh, uh, which contains about the following topics uh, covered. Before that I have already started the lab and it is ready. So what we are going to learn in this lab is create an Amazon EBS volume. And we will try to attach this and mount to your EC2 instance. We will create after uh, that we will be adding some data to this EC2 uh, sorry EBS volume and then we are going to take a snapshot. So after taking that snapshot we are going to create a volume using the snapshot and then we are going to attach this volume and see whether the data is proper or not. So this is a very very important lab. Yes I click this AWS which opens in a new tab. Yeah, if you see this message, just say log out, completely log out, and then once again log in. Once again log in. Once again click this AWS. So you should be going through into the console. And here, once if you let us explore this EC2, you already have an instance here which is uh, ready in this lab. you see these instances there are two instances running one is lab and other is uh, bastion host so what he has mentioned as a uh, uh, as a prerequisites yes so let us explore this EBS volume features we already learnt about what is persistent storage general purpose storage high performance reliability design for resiliency these are all the properties for EBS volume okay uh, variable size and easy to use so the first one is creating a new volume, creating a new volume. So yeah instances, so we have a lab resource, yes, uh, note the availability zone and then try to create a volume of 1 GB, of 1 GB in the same availability zone. See this lab, this is in the availability zone of 1A, so in my case it is 1A. So how to create a volume, scroll down, go to volume. And here, just say create a volume of 1 GB, 1 GB, not 100 GB, 1 GB, that's all that's enough. And also ensure it is same of your volume, of your instance 1A. And then, okay, so availability zone, select that, add a tag, you can give name, add my volume. So the tag will easily make us, uh, uh, I mean, uh, easily understand which we are using name and say so so create a volume which will identify yes you see this volume is successfully created but still it is not attached if you see creating even after a period of time you can just try to refresh you should see it is available see this one this is a 1 GB with 100 IOPS and this is available you need to attach to your instance so here our instance is our lab instance. So attach this one to our instance, lab instance that is dev slash dev slash sdf will come. So you can see this one. Try to select the same instance, my volume and say attach, attach volume to your instance called as, I mean lab instance, you see lab. Okay, select this one. And also try to note down this volume name that is slash dev slash sdf. Okay, I just copy this one into the notepad. Because this will be useful for a later stage. And say attach volume. Yeah, I had successfully attached this volume. You see now once it is done, it will say message as in use. Okay, so the first part is done task 2 also is successfully completed. So now the third part is task 3 is connect to your EC2 instance. How do you connect to your EC2 instance? Under details just say show download this PPK key that is very important. You see this one download this is the key right I have downloaded this one that is lab user 10.ppk and under this console copy your public IP yeah 44 to 10. So I just open this putty 
putty. You can download the putty also as needed if you really require. He has given the URL. So yeah, what you need to do is that in uh, yeah you can say connection. You can give 30, and under SSH you can say auth credentials browse and select this user open yeah just accept and login as ec2 hyphen user this should successfully log into your console this is task number three okay you can see this one task number three if you want to download putty you can download from here point number 16 so we have completely uh, completed all this up to 26 27 29 up to 29 we have completed so point number 30 you can say df hyphen h run this command df hyphen h will show you the file systems which are mounted so currently you see only the root file system is mounted you can see only 8 gb xvda1 you don't see slash dev and slash uh, slash xdf that file is not yet mounted so let us learn about how to mount the file system so so this is the first command first command you are trying to format the newly created file system yeah i just copy paste it sudo mkfs is make file system hyphen t ext3 is the file system type dev if you want ext4 also you can do this is okay slash dev sdf yeah it has formatted when you see this super blocks and of course i know table and all these things your file system is now formatted so now let us try to mount this uh, on a directory so for that we are going to create a first a folder slash mnt data store just paste it yeah i have created and then let me mount let me mount okay so yes this is mounted how to test whether it is mounted or not you say df hyphen h once again you should see this particular column which has been added this is 1 gb xvdf mnt data store is mounted perfectly so yes we want to add an entry into fs tab so that whenever you make a reboot also this should work properly this should work as it is so this is normally done by the system administrator but you can do it by copy paste like this echo yeah so now you can see this cat fs tab you should see the file values as the same values which is there the slash last line should be appearing along with this okay so if you see df hyphen h we have verified this particular one so let me add some data to the newly created file system maybe echo some text uh, has to be written like this copy paste okay so now if you want to say cat uh, you can say mnt uh, data store and say file dot txt it should show the content the content is some text has been written fantastic so we have done up to task 4 let us create a backup snapshot is nothing but a backup so how do i do a backup a snapshot so here uh, you can select under my uh, console go to volumes select your 1 gb volume yeah this is already there my volume and say under actions create a snapshot so description if you want you can give some description yes we need to give the description uh, say my volume create a snapshot add a tag so yeah you can create my snapshot or something like that my snapshot this is your tagging that's enough create a snapshot so a snapshot is a backup copy yes this is getting true ready within yeah uh, you can check whether the snapshots are ready or not so in snapshots you can see yeah this is the snapshot my snapshot this uh, the status is still pending it will take couple of minutes uh, to get ready if the size is huge it will take more time since it is 1 gb you should see this one ready within a minute's time yeah so this completes your what we call as uh, uh, i mean so let us delete the file once the snapshot is ready you can try deleting the file 
you can try deleting the file but please do only once the snapshot is ready yeah it is completed in my case it is completed open this file so I am trying to delete this file so I have deleted if I say cat it should say no file no file so now I want to restore the file from the backup that is the snapshot so let us do this one exercise so the file itself is not existing now okay restore from the EBS snapshot so let us learn about how to restore so this is my snapshot select so under this so try to create volume from snapshot so this is already shown you 1 GB the fantastic ensure your availability zone is as the servers uh, availability zone only so in my servers availability zone is 1A that is uh, uh, the lab server so create the volume over there okay I have created so now you can see in volumes one more 1 GB volume he should be created very soon you see this one 1 GB which should be same of your availability zone 1A yeah it is available also it is available also so now what you can do yeah it is restored so you can say the name you can give as restored volume so how do you give you can try to give this name as restored volume fantastic so try to attach this one now to the lab server attach to your lab server lab okay so this time you see this one this is slash dev sdg sdg copy that so i am trying to attach this one yeah perfect this restored volume is now attached okay so this is attached attach volume is done so now let us create a folder data store 2 and mount the newly created volume so i create this one yeah i have created the folder mkdar now i need to mount i need to mount this data store 2 so you see this one this is the mount command data store 2 you see when i say df-h it should show me the second one which is mounted this is a clear understanding that 1 GB XV DG has been mounted on data store 2 you can also see LS or LL uh, MNT data store 2 you should see the file uh, av available so now you can do cp file dot text from your MNT data store 2 slash file dot text to MNT data store data store okay so what happens the permission denied need to say you have to give sudo right it is done you can verify now cat mnt data store slash file dot text should have the original data which has been written yeah so verify that so ls now it has been created and also i tried to copy fantastic you can see the original data some text has been written we in this way we successfully learned about how to create a volume and also to attach to an instance later we added some data and also we take a backup that is the snapshot of the actively running volume and then we also from the snapshot we have we try to restore into our server so after restoring it to the server then we could mount it and see whether the data is still existing same thing it is existing and we can try to restore to our original folder so this is the conclusion so once the verification is done our lab is complete so you can choose end lab and say yes so thank you everyone and bye this completes our lab 4 uh, working with uh, EBS. Bye. Thank you.